Yo, so in my last video, I showed you how you can integrate my asset, the immersive template, into a default third person template. In this video, I'll show you how to integrate this with the dynamic combat system. This video is essentially how you would integrate this into any other asset on the marketplace. Quick disclaimer, make a backup of your project just in case. Do not practice on your main project. Capiche? All right, let's get it. Okay, so here in the dynamic combat system, I see that the DCS skeleton has multiple sockets while mine only has a few. So I'm gonna copy my sockets and paste them into the DCS skeleton. And now I'm gonna delete the immersive skeleton and replace it. Next, I'm adding the immersive and dialog components adding the immersive macro, pasting the inputs, manually connecting the macros, connecting jump to where jump is, setting crouch to true on the character movement. Then we'll add the immersive anim interface to the DCS animation blueprint. Open it up and we're gonna add an input for movement. Now let's open the animation blueprint for the immersive character. Copy everything here and paste it into motion. Then add blend by bool and connect input to true and locomotion to false. And we're gonna connect something to the bool in a sec. Open the dialog movement component, event graph, create a bool named use DCS. And out of each point here, set it to true, false, false, true. Go back to the immersive NMBP, update the dialog macro, get the component, use DCS, create a bool variable and connect it to the sequencer. Now go back to the motion graph and connect the new bool here. Go to the anim graph of DCS animation blueprint, add a linked layer for motion, change instance class to immersive NMBP, and plug that bad boy in to locomotion with jump. Now everything is set up to work, but you have to do one other thing. You have to open up each of my animation montages and change the slot to full body. This will allow the character to perform animations like picking up objects using the slots from DCS. From here, you'll have to designate when and when not to do certain actions that will conflict with both blueprints. For example, if you perform any DCS animations while doing an immersive interaction, you'll interrupt the immersive montage, causing it not to complete the code and making the player stuck. Now, I could probably spend an entire hour figuring out exactly where to disable immersive interactions or combat actions, but I'm a lazy SOB who got you this far. If nothing from this video Video made sense to you, please spend way more time learning. It wasn't until I fully grasped interfaces and animation layering that I really gained this ability to literally combine any asset I want super quick. That's all I got for you. Thank you if you made it this far. Do me a fave and hit the like and sub button. Maybe leave a nice comment or an emoji. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.